Today on Truth Is, Jesus says, out of the heart of every believer should flow rivers of living water. That's coming up. Hey, welcome to Truth Is. Today, the Gospel of John, chapter 7, verse 37 is where we'll start. Verse 37 says, On the last day of the feast, the great day, Jesus stood up and cried out, If anyone thirst, let him come to me and drink. Now, water wasn't plentiful in this time, and so they would understand thirst. Uh, we don't understand this today, most of us anyway, because we have plentiful water. But if you did without water for a while, you would understand what he's talking about. And he's saying, thirsty souls will come after me because he, he's the only one that can quench a thirsty soul. So Jesus is really just using this as a metaphor for thirsty souls. Thirsty souls will pursue after Jesus because we were created by God for him. So the only way we can really quench the thirst of a soul is truly in our creator, Jesus Christ. John 4 Verse 14 says, But whoever drinks of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty again. The water that I will give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. And again, he's talking about quenching that thirsty soul, um, eternal life. He gives true life. The only way to have true life and true purpose for what we were created for as human beings is in Jesus Christ. So he's the only one that can quench that thirsty soul. Verse 38, whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Now this he said about the spirit whom those who believed in him were to receive, for as yet the spirit had not been given because Jesus was not yet glorified. Out of the heart of every believer should flow rivers of living water. Um, in every believer, the Holy Spirit lives. Uh, if you're a believer in Christ today, the Holy Spirit lives within you. Uh, you can't be a Christian without the Holy Spirit living in you. And out of your heart should flow rivers of living water. This is what we pass on to the lost. This is what we pass on to, to people in, in, in reaching the lost and discipleship, leading them uh, to know and to learn about Jesus. This is life. This is eternal life flows from us. It's the power of Jesus uh, through the Holy Spirit. Uh, and we convey the truths of God to the world. Now the Spirit had always been at work, uh, even in the Old Testament. But the way the Spirit came after Jesus ascended into heaven, shortly after that at Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came. And then every time uh, someone chose to believe in Christ, uh, they receive the Holy Spirit, and that's what happens to us today. When you choose, or when I chose to receive Christ, the Holy Spirit came into me to live, and that is where the rivers of living water of Christ flow through us, through the Holy Spirit. So the Spirit will flow from a believer out into the world, into lost people, telling people about Jesus, and, and also discipleship. As we learn about Jesus and we pass on what we learn to others, uh, we're, we're not a stagnant pond. We're, we're flowing waters, waters that flow uh, out. Not If you're keeping the gospel to yourself, if you're keeping Jesus to yourself, you, you, you're going to become stagnant. Uh, you want those rivers to flow, and that's why he's referring to that as, as flowing rivers. Uh, this is life-giving, eternal life-giving truth that, that flows through Christians. And that's why it's so important for us Christians not to keep this to ourselves, to let it flow through us out into the world. Well, that's all the time we have today on Truth Is. I thank you for joining me. Hey, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the like button down below. Until next time, blessings.